Hey, what's up guys? Theo Tolliver here from Team Outfitters. I'm here to give you your first fishing tip of 2018. Well, my first fish tip to you for 2018. Eh, whatever. So let's talk about scouting for fish. Yes, you have to scout for fish sometimes. Um, so what I like to do is I like to do a lot of researching before I go out to a different lake, whether it's either I talk to somebody or try to find some kind of records online. Um, but North Dakota Game and Fish has made that very, very easy for me to do. So if you go to their website, they provide all the information for you about what lakes have fish, what fish are in those lakes, um, the current fishing status, because a lot of these lakes get winter kill, and netting reports as well, too, to see what, what, how big are the fish are coming out of that Pacific lake. Um, but one more importantly app I like to use is called the Explorer app. If you go to the Game of Fish website, they provide this link for the Explorer app for either Android or iPhone. And once you have this app, it provides all the information that you, you possibly need in the palm of your hand. Um, if like contour, like contour maps, stocking reports, boating accesses, and just a slew of information, including plot guides for you know for you guys, you uh, you hunters out there. So um, in this next clip, I'm going to show you a step by step process on how to use that uh, Explorer app for you and your family to have a better fishing trip. Okay, so let's talk about the Explorer app that I love to use, um, provided by the North Dakota Game and Fish. So once you open it up. Uh, go to the search bar there, and all you have to do now is type in ND Game and Fish, and it should bring up uh, several different maps provided by North Dakota Game and Fish uh, for everybody's use, uh, like lake contours, boating accesses, and uh, driving direction. So, um, first thing I like to do is go up to the fish stock information. So, once you click on that, it brings up a map with these little blue fish icons on there. Uh, once you click on one of these icons, it should bring up uh, stocking reports uh, throughout the years. Uh, uh, I'm not sure how far back it goes, but uh, they have, I've seen it up to about five or six years, maybe even more. So let's go find a lake. Let's go take Harvey Dam, for example. Um, do, do, do. Let's go all the way down here. And there's Harvey. So you, once you click on that, uh, bring up the history here. So let's just click on I don't know, this last one down here the latest report. So the latest stocking information was back from J June of this year. Uh, they stocked it with 33,000 walleye. Um, so let's click on it again here, get a pass more, even more further back. Uh, let's click this one. So back in 2014, they stocked it again with 31,000 walleye. So, and once you click on that direction, then it can give you directions to, to the lake itself um, from your house or wherever you're going to go. And so after I figure out uh, the fish stocking information, I have to go back to the maps and click on the lake contour maps. Once you open that up, let's see, oh, that's Greeno for everyone who wants to know there. Um, so I've seen a lake that I like want to fish and it's full of walleye. Let me go check out the contour map, see what this lake looks like. So let's head down to, to Harvey here. Mm -hmm, different lakes, North Dakota area contour maps. So let's go down there. So one thing that's neat about this uh, Explorer app is, is once you turn it on, once you're at your fishing location, a GPS tracks you to wherever you, wherever you are as you're moving. Um, I like it. Um, it puts you on the spot relatively close to where you're at. It's pretty accurate. And once I'm on a spot, um, you know, I just like to fish it. So, so there you go. That's how you fish with the app there.